Welcome back everyone, I'm LCLC and today there is a brand new update, update number two for Arcade Empire. There's quite a lot of changes, I'm going to run through them all, so stick with me. First of all though, we have the biggest news of all, Venix has been wiped off the top of the leaderboard and the statue has been replaced, but we're not talking about that right now. If you want to see how that happened, check out my other video, there'll be a link at the top right now. But first of all, the first thing on the list is this brand new theme, now is a castle theme. Looks pretty cool, I'm going to pick it up, earn 20% more customers and three times the XP. And now this is in-game money, you don't have to spend Robux on this. So we're going to pick that up and check that out and just compare it to the Robux theme. Um, it's pretty OP, so the Robux theme is 25% more customers and four times the XP. So it's still, futuristic theme is still the best one, but it is Robux. But this one is in-game money, so that's pretty cool, you can get that even if you don't have Robux. Now, one of the biggest changes is we now have more workers. Look how many workers there are now available. This is going to change the game. This is going to change layouts. This is going to change everything. So I'm going to get them all now and then try and work out a new layout, hopefully. Um, I'm not sure how this is. This, this is crazy. There's so many new workers. Look how many I'm able to buy. They've, they've adjusted the level of the work, the level, the number of workers you get at different levels so I'm able to go back and purchase all these workers that I've yet to purchase. This has been changed today, this is going to be awesome, I can't wait to check out some new layouts with this. Back to the drawing board I think. Anyway, there are loads more things in this update so stay tuned, I'm going to show you. First of all, most importantly I guess, we have these brand new arcade machines and this is what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm a big fan of the Daytona Arcade, Sega Rally Arcades in uh, real arcades. And this is Drifting, Drifting, Driftings? Drifting Legends. Drifting Legends. Looks pretty cool. Uh, $81 a play. That's nuts. So it's quite cheap to buy. Well, not that cheap to buy. 162 k But it gives you $81 a play. It's a one by one arcade. Race against your friends in this intense racing game. This is going to be, I'm sure, in people's money layouts coming soon and then this is interesting it's a two-player foosball table foosball is again another favorite of mine uh, you always play this uh, when you're on holiday and not much not so much in arcades but when you're on holiday when you find one of these in the in the hotel or whatever in the lobby so 73 dollars a play one by one arcade what is a one by one and it takes two customers at a time this could be interesting i'm gonna fiddle out i'm gonna fiddle with some layouts later and 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 see what i can find but Right now, we will place these down in the arcade and check them out. Um, yeah, let's see, the dogfighter. Mm, this is, this is going to be interesting. One by one, uh, it earns a lot more money, uh, and it only, but it only serves two customers, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now, another really interesting part of this update is this teleporter, which takes you to the second floor of the shop. I've unlocked all of those capsules. It's time to go upstairs and check out the brand new floor. This looks cool, it's totally empty. It just shows how dedicated these devs are to updating this game. There is a lot of space here for future updates. And judging by these first two these first two updates that we've had in the space of just over a week already, I'm pretty sure these devs are dedicated to fixing all the problems that we're reporting and updating the game regularly with new content. This is gonna be awesome. This could be a big, long-lasting game. Okay, so we've got, oh, this is interesting as well. We've got new uh, customers to unlock, but we've also got this auto button. So this is a new Game Pass. I'll show you it in the Game Pass menu later. It costs Robux, but it automatically unlocks your customers. Uh, we're just going to unlock a couple just to see what they look like. Uh, just going to do one. Oh, ultra rare golem. Pretty cool. Uh, let, let's, let me. I've got the three. I got the three open. I paid Robux for it. So let's see if we can get some more. Ice golem. What well, that is sick. So sick. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head back downstairs. We're going to purchase some of these arcades and place them down. I know some of you aren't uh, rich in the game yet, so I'm going to place down these. Let me go buy them first. I'm going to uh, buy a couple of these arcades. I'm going to convert them into... I'm going to buy the normal one and put it next to the rainbow one so you can see the difference. Gold is gold, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you guys want to see uh, rainbow ones as well. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase a uh, 100 of these. Yeah, is it 100? Yeah, 100, so 10 by 10, and then 10 by 10 again, yeah. So we're going to need 100 to make one rainbow of those, and, and I'm going to need 100 of these to make a rainbow one of these, So just so we can compare them side by side. So I'm going to quickly upgrade those and place them down in my arcade. I almost said restaurant there. Um, yeah, I've got 101, so I'm going to make a gold one. Well, these icons have changed as well. I don't know if you've noticed that, but these icons are different. Uh, Oh, it shows you that it's a rainbow. See, there's gold icon. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, so we've got one of each now. We've got one um, 
normal foosball table, one RGB foosball table, one normal Drift Legends and one RGB Drift Legends, the driving game. So we're going to place these down. I've actually closed my arcade. I almost said restaurant there, but didn't. Uh, I've closed my arcade so I can place these down and watch them in peace. There's an RGB one. So the whole uh, table rotates in color. That's pretty cool. And here, side by side, is a normal one. And also we're going to pull out the Drift Legends. Oh, this looks so cool. I love that. Oh, that's the RGB one. And no, sorry, that's the normal one. And that's the RGB one. Okay. So yeah, they look pretty cool. This one is uh, glowing. I've got my particle effects on. Particle effects on. Uh, yeah, it rotates color. And you can actually switch that on and off now. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But these look pretty cool. What do you guys think? Uh, there's still more things in this update. So stay tuned. I'm going to run through everything else. But let's just quickly take a look at this arcade. It looks so cool. Imagine, imagine four of these next to each other. If only you could get a four, a four arcade. You know, like when you go to the arcade and there's four Daytonas in a row, that would be pretty cool. But yeah, look, here you can change the rainbow effect. We've turned it off and it no longer rotates. And look, there's a customer. Why is there a customer on my arcade? What's going on? I turned customers off. I Who is that? The C5, C5 dude, what's up? If you want to be in a video like C5, then comment down below to let me know. Look at the detail on this, it's got C5. Dude, you can stop dancing now, Brr, he says. Okay, so there's a couple of new game passes which are interesting. Auto capsules, 499 Robux. That one is interesting. It's probably worth the money if you want to get on the leaderboard to get that extra XP. And also, in inventory, infinity storage, 999 Robux. I'm not going to be buying that today, but it is an interesting one. It probably would save you time buying lots of arcades. So I'm going to open up my arcade, let some customers in, see what they look like when they're playing. This is also the castle theme I'm in right now. So this is what it looks like from the inside, and this is what it looks like from the outside. Here are a few customers playing the foosball table two at a time together. If you like this new update, smash the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel with the bell notification if you're new around here for the latest and greatest videos in Arcade Empire. And if you want to be in a video like these guys, then comment down below to let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.